Hello, sports and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolkin. I'm back with my Sportsman Z Football League. And uh, you can look at the standings right now. We have played three games. We're three games into the season. The AFC, or the AFC that I've put together, has Pittsburgh at uh, the top of the division um, at uh, an undefeated 3-0. and and then uh, followed by the Falcons, the New York Jets, and the Philadelphia Stars, who were all 2-1. and one. And then the Boston Patriots, of course, bad team that they were. This was like the 1968, I think, Boston Patriots, 0-3. And, and then you got the Birmingham Stallions of 1984 and the 2018, I believe it was, Chicago Bears at 2-1, and one, heading the NFC. Followed by the Denver Gold and Minnesota Vikings at 1-2 and two each, and the Dallas Cowboys at 0-3. Oh so today, the game that we're going to play is the next game on the Birmingham uh, Stallions schedule, and that is going to be, as you can see right here that I've highlighted, Birmingham at the New York Jets. Not sure what Jets team that is. I think it might be the 69 Jets, the one that uh, won Super Bowl III. So we will get underway, and uh, we will play one week, and I'm actually going to change the Chicago game. As you know, I, I go back and forth between running Birmingham and Chicago, but I am going to make the uh, Chicago game autoplay. And uh, we, and then we will play one week, and that will give us the manual game that we're going to play against New York. And I think this will show the stand. Yes, it'll show the updated standing. So the Bears did win. Nice. So Birmingham has to win to keep pace with the Bears. And you can see that is the game we've got. And it is a 68, the 68 Jets that won Super Bowl three against the 84 Birmingham Stallions. And I will um, launch the game. And you can see we're at the Jets field, the old Jets field, and we're going to kick off again, um, you know, what's going on or, you know, updated stats or whatever will be up in this box right here. And then the rolls, the dice rolls will be down here in this box. So I'm going to kick off. And it's going to be a touchback. So we'll go through the um, Jets offense. They've got Don Maynard at flanker. Tight end is Pete Lamons. Right tackle is Sam Walton. Right guard is Dave Herman. The center will be John Schmidt. Left guard is Randy Rasmussen. Left tackle Winston Hill. You got George Sauer out at the split end. Of course you have Joe Willie Namath. Hollywood, Hollywood Joe Namath there at quarterback. Emerson Boozer at halfback and Matt Snell at fullback. For our defense, we're going to have the left end is Dave Purifoy. The left tackle is Jackie Klein. The uh, right tackle is Joe Caliglier. Ka what is that? Cugliari. The right end is Mike Perko. Right linebacker is Herbie Spencer. Middle linebacker is Bill Rowe. The left uh, linebacker is Taft Sales. Out at cornerback, left cornerback, you got Dennis Woodbury. Strong safety, you got David Evans. Free safety, you got Chuck Clanton. And at right cornerback, you got Ricky Ray. So... Uh, we're going to go, I'm going to start out with the balanced like I usually do. And we will snap the ball and see what happens. Receiver and seven yards. They're going to get a seven yard pickup out of this. And they've got a, the Jets have a second and three at their 27. 
and we're going to I'm going to go with the balanced again and we were wrong I don't know how you were wrong on balance but anyway they're going to get four yards which is just barely a first down and they will have a first and 10 now the Jets do at their own 31 I'm going to I'm going to go with the run right here I'm just going to guess the run we were wrong and it's going receiver for 40 yards. Joe Willie Namath is going to burn the defense here big time for a 40-yard pass to George Sauer. Uh, you don't want to be wrong against this Jets team. So they got a first and 10 at the, um, at the Birmingham 29 now. I'm going to go uh, pass double team Maynard. And we got three men, whatever that means, receiver, and it's going to be incomplete. Finally, we get Namath to be an incomplete. Now I'm going. Now I'm going to guess that he's going to run, and I'm going to run and key. I'm going all in on Emerson Boozer. Uh, I don't know. Ah, it's going to be a negative one. Nice, we got him. So now they have a third and 11 at our 30, and I am going to just put in the generic pass defense. Four men pass defense. He's still going to get 14 yards. Are you joking? Namath is no joke here. All right, so we've got, they've got a first down. First down at our 16. I'm going to put in the pass. Dump pass. Flushed from the pocket, the quarterback is. And he gets a receiver, and it's going to be for 12 yards. Namath cannot do anything wrong so far. It's going to be first and goal at the four. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to look for the run down there, and I'm going to keep Boozer. And we were right. And they're going to get Zippolo. No run. No, um, no run. I'm so used to talking about baseball. They're going to get no yards there. They have a second down. I am going to look for the run again. This time I'm just going generic run. We were wrong, though. And he's going to get a 15-yard pass and a touchdown for the Jets. Let's see if they get the extra point. Um, I'm going to put in the kick block. So the Jets just walked down the field on us, basically. They just walked down. And there is a penalty on that and it was probably on us so and it's going to be a touchback so now we've got to try to work the ball down the field on the jets and answer that score offensively we've got split end jim smith left tackle robert woods left guard buddy Adelet. The center is Tom Banks. Right guard is Tom Bataglia. Right tackle is Pat Phoenix. Tight end is Daryl Mason. We got Joey Jones out at the flanker. Cliff Stout at quarterback. 57.9 completion percentage and a 1.9 interception percentage. Not too bad. Uh, fullback is Leon Perry, and the uh, halfback is Joe Cribs. So we're going to go, we're going to start with an off tackle to Cribs. And they were wrong. That should be good. It's four yards. I mean, that's good. But when they're wrong, you want to see a Joe Cribs get some serious yards. Uh, I'm going to go line buck with per Perry. And uh, let's see. Ooh, they stuffed him. So we've got a third and six from our 24. I am going to go flat pass to the tight end, Mason. And that's going to be a short gain. Short gainer. 14 yards. Thank you, Stout. We needed that. Okay, I'm going to go back to the pro set. We're not going to do that. We're in, we're going to go off tackle 
with cribs. And he was wrong again. And we only get five yards, and there's a penalty on the play. Um, Birmingham ball on the 43, second and five. If I accept the penalty, it's their, our ball on the 42, first and 10. Um, I'm going to accept it just because it gives me a first down and the yardage difference isn't much different. So we got a first and 10 at the New York 42. And I'm going to go end run with Cribs. Of course, you can't lean too heavily on Cribs. You want to watch out about doing that. But he does get five yards and there's another penalty. And this one was on us, it looks like. So... We've got a first and 25 at our 43. Man. All right. Uh, let's try to, you know, go about this. Uh, we're going to do the flat pass, and it's going to be incomplete. So now we got a second and 25. How did we get a 25? I'm going to go short pass. Short pass to the flanker Jones. Mr. Joe Jones. And he was wrong, and we're going to get 16 yards, although there is a penalty. And hopefully it's on the Jets. No, it's still a second and 25. So we're going to go short to the split end Smith. I mean, we're not going to get anything from this drive, because he really should be able to. Whoa, we got 20. We're going to get 20 on this. Unbelievable. I wouldn't have never thought. All right, so now we got a manageable third and five. I'm going to leave this out here to, to fake them out, but I'm going to go line buck with Cribs. They, they were, were right. They were right. How were they right? And a fumble occurred. I mean, we, we, we're going to get it back, but, I mean, how were they right? I'm going to pick it up and run with it. I mean, because that's the only chance. Otherwise, we're punting. All right, you got a fourth and five. Uh, yeah, we're going to punt. Unreal. I mean, I thought we were going to get... I looked like we were going to get right back into the swing of things there with that 20-yard gain, but uh, apparently not. And that's going to be a touchback. All right, Namath, I'm going to go, I'm going to go run. And offense plus eight or plus two, and it's going to be the eight. So they get eight yards there. They got a second and two. I'm going to go run again. I don't know how we were looking for the run, and they got eight yards, but they did. And uh, that's going to be incomplete good so they got a third and two right here i'm gonna run and key on boozer and we were wrong and he's gonna get nine yards out of it all right so uh 502 left in the first quarter the jets have it first and 10 at their own 37 i am going to i'm gonna do a linebacker blitz Okay. And he's going to get 13 yards on me. All right. Uh, first and 10 for the Jets at midfield. Uh, we got to stop them soon here. I'm going to go just generic pass defense. And he's going to get Zip Olo. And there was a penalty, it looked like. And it was on us, so they got a first and five. I mean, we can't catch a break. We can't catch a break, and all the good rolls are going for them. They lose seven yards, but there's a penalty. Um, if we accept the penalty, it's New York ball on the 40, first and, first and 20. If we decline the penalty, it's New York ball on the 48. 
second and 12. I'll, I'm going to decline the penalty. So they've got a second and 12 from their own 48, and I'm going to put in the pass. You want to run on this? Go run on it. Defensive back in the zone, plus 32. Let's hope it's not plus 32. It is! It is a plus 32-yard pass. I had pass defense in. Come on, people. All right. Um, I'm going to put in the run. I mean, the Jets are just schooling us. They're taking us to out, out behind the woodshed, picking us up and putting us down. All right. So it's uh, 7 nothing. The Jets are moving. They got a second and three at the Bills 13. Plus, um, by the way, I want to mention right now that um, I am soon going to be putting up college football games. They get six yards here. We will have a college football type of uh, league or something. We will have college football games, something like that, very soon, as soon as the college football for this year comes out. They're going to get a four-yard gain here, and uh, they have a second and goal at our three-yard line. I'm going to look for the run. Just going to look for the run. And so be on the lookout for They're going to get a touchdown here, of course. Um, be on the lookout for a college football uh, league season from me. I'm going to put in kick defense here. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that into the rotation, but I'm looking forward to doing it. And uh, we are going to, uh, they're going to, we're going to return whatever this kick is. Hopefully we return it big time. 19 yards. I'm guessing that's not too bad of a return. Nope, not too bad of a return at all. So we're out to the 29. First and 10 at our own 29. I'm going to go off tackle with Cribs. You still can't get too carried away here. But he was right. Uh, I'm going to go end run with Cribs. And he was keyed. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. And, of course, a fumble occurred. And it is recovered by us, but we are just not, I mean, we're shooting ourselves right in the foot. I'm going to try to run with it because, again, I don't really have much of a choice. Plus three yards and another fumble. And uh, so we're, we fumble again. I'm going to I'm going to keep trying to advance down the field. I'm going to keep trying to pick it up and run with it. Minus one yard. So all of what all of this results in is a third and seven at our 32. And I'm going to go short pass to the split end. Of course, they should be looking for this. And they do, and they sack Stout. So we have to punt again. The Stallions are just really no match for the 1968 Jets. Can I tell you that? Parsons gets off the punt. And it looks like they'll have a first and 10 at their 35. Um, I'm going to put in the run again. I mean, they really should just want to. Of course, we're wrong. And it's going to be a 31-yard pass play. Man, were Boozer and the other guy, were they that bad that really, I mean, or was name it that good? I'm going to put in the balanced. I don't even know. He's got me he's got me up down and inside out. And he still gets a 14-yard gain even when the computer says I was right. So they've we've uh we've advanced into by now the second quarter and there's 13:51 left in the half. The Jets have a first and 10 at their own 20. They're up 14 nothing. Uh I don't know. I mean there's I don't have any answers for this team. Our defense doesn't have any answers, and our offense can't get going. He gets, looks like, five yards, so they got a second and five at the uh, at our 15. I'm going to go run. Finally, we were right, and it's negative eight. And no penalty. Nice. 
Third and 13 at the uh, 23-yard line, I am going to put in the pass defense. Uh, let's see. That's incomplete. Good. All right. At least we held him to a field goal now. And it's going to be bad, too. He's not even going to make the field goal. So we we still are only losing by 14. But we got to get something going here. I'm going to do a look-in pass to the, to the, uh, to the split end. I don't even want to involve Cribs because, you know, we're overusing him as it is. Receiver. And it's going to be incomplete. Really? All of those good possible results. Let's go off tackle with Johnson. No, with Gant. He was wrong. There's a good sign, but we still only get two yards out of it. Third and eight. Uh, let's go draw play with a halfback. And that's going to be a fumble zero yards. You cannot make this up. I mean, we just cannot get going. Parsons with the punt. Going to be 31 yards and a four yard return. So they're already in our territory. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. I'm going to put in the pass defense. We were right, at least. But it's still 14 yards, although there's a penalty. Hopefully it's on him. Yeah, well, definitely accept the penalty. So he's got a first and 25 at uh, his own 36. I'm going to put in the pass. And uh, it's no fumble. But we do sack him. So he's got a second and 30 now. I'm putting in the uh, pass. I'm not even going to key on somebody because I think that makes it worse. All right, quarterback flushed from the pocket. And he still gets six yard. He gets a six yard pass. All right. So he's got a third and twenty four. I think maybe we got him now. Put in the pass defense. We were right, and he gets five yards. So fourth and nineteen. Finally, we've got him actually punting to us. Nine oh nine in the left in the first half, and he's finally punting. Johnson with the punt. We're going to just let it just fall down there at the six-yard line. I mean, we just have to go 94 yards. No big deal. Yeah, I'm going to come out and go long to the split end. Let's see what they do then. And it's going to be an interception plus 32. With a 12-yard return, so it's only going to be a, it's only, they're going to have it 20 yards from here. Thank you. Oh, boy. I can't even catch him with his britches down. Oh, yeah, I got to pick somebody. I'm going to double team the split end. I mean, I don't know what to do. He's got me thinking all kinds of, man. You know, and when those short gains are there, we don't get them. When those plus 60s are there for us, we don't get them. But they, he gets them every time. Matt Snell. All right. Um, Let's run and key on uh, the running back. He's going to get 14 yards and score. And now it's 21 nothing. We're going to need some serious comeback mojo if we're going to get out of this mess. And with Cliff Stout, I mean, what are the chances? All right, so they're going to kick off. There's 7.42 left in the half. This has been a laboriously long half, I got to say. And uh, 
not not fun at all. Mansfield is running it back. Well, we got good field position. Twenty, what is it? Twenty-one, nothing. I'm going to go off tackle with Johnson. Seven yards. All right, second and three. I'm going to go line buck with Gant. And he does get six yards, so we've got a first down. It's a first and ten for us at the 39-yard line, 6-10 left. I'm going to go end run with Johnston or Johnson or whatever his name is. And they were wrong, and we get six yards out of it. Second and four at our 45 with 552 left. I'm going to go off tackle with Cribs. And he's not, he's going to get zero. Third and four. I'm going to go flat pass to the tight end, Mason. It's going to be three yards, but you know I got to go for it because it's 21 nothing. So we're going to go pro set, and I'm going to go line buck with stout. And it looks like he's going to get it, and he does. So we have, with 4.02 left, it's 21 nothing, and we've got a first down across midfield into their... Um, territory oh they were right but we still get three yards although they call that yeah, that was on us first and 15 i'm going to go short to the split end smith quarterback flushed from the pocket and it's going to be a 13 yard gain nice we had to have that Got a second and two. I'm going to go long to the split end because right here he might be looking for the run. And he was. And we're going to get 28 yards if this penalty isn't on us. But it was. So it's going to be second and two from the 41. I'm going to go long again. Let's see if the computer is smart enough to figure out that that's what I wanted to do. No, he's not. And we're going to get the 28 yards again, and this time there is no penalty. So we got a first and 10 at the Jets' 13. I think we got to try to get this in, so I'm going to go short to the flanker. And it's going to be incomplete. Going to go uh, end run with the halfback. And he was right. And we're going to get zero yards. Third and 10 from the Jets 13. I am going to go short pass, short pass to the split end. It's going to be incomplete, but there was a penalty, but it was on us. So it's third and 15. I'm going to go short to the flanker. And flushed from the pocket. And receiver. And incomplete. All right, fourth and 15 from the 18. I think, Rayleigh, what you got to do is try to kick a field goal. Not a fake field goal, a real field goal. And it's going to be 21-3. At least we're on the board. But the Jets look like, defensively, they just have our number. It's a minute 45 left in the half. And, uh... Plus 26. The return's going to be a plus 26, man. 
So again, they're almost in our territory. They got a first and 10 at the 35. All right, I don't want to say almost, but I'm going to key on Boozer. We were wrong. And they're going to get 15 yards. I'm going to go pass, look for the pass. I guess they're trying to get down the field and score, so. They got a second and eight. I'm going to look for the pass. And they're going to get 15 yards out of that. They got a first and 10 at our 33. I'm looking for the pass. Minute 15 left. They're going to get six yards because they ran the ball with Snell. Still, second and four. I'm going to look for the pass. And they're going to be incomplete. Incomplete, and that'll bring up a third and four. I'm going to look for the, the pass. Quarterback flush. That's always quarterback flush. It, those other options never come up. Receiver, and it's going to be incomplete. So he's going to try to kick a field goal, I'm going to guess, right here, although this would be a long field goal. Kick defense, put it out there. Well, no, it's not really that long, and he did make it. Jim Turner makes the kick. And uh, it is 24 to 3. They are smoking us. Going to get a 25-yard return, though. And there's a penalty. Be good field position for us if the penalty's not on us. Um, I'm going to decline it. Because we got good field position. But we're down 24-3. Did I mention that? Um, let's go long to the split end. Oh, great. The only thing I have a chance of is an interception. It's going to be incomplete. All right, so incomplete pass, second and 10. Let's go to one of the uh, traditional passing downs. I'm going to go long to the flanker. And that's going to be a must run for Stout, and he's going to get nine yards. Runs over that guy. All right, so we got a third and one. I am going to call a timeout. I am going to put in a passing offense. I am going to put in a long pass and go to Frederick. And it's going to be incomplete, hopefully. I mean, because the only other option was an interception 32 yards downfield. And it will be incomplete. So uh, we have a fourth and one. Um, and if you think I'm really going to punt right there, you're crazy as a $3 bill. I'm going to go full house, and we're going to go line buck with Perry. And he was wrong, and we do get six yards. We've got a first and 10, um, yeah, at their 45. Eight seconds left. Going to go long. I mean, you know you got to go long. And Stout's going to get sacked. And we got one second left, so you know what we're doing. We're going long to the wide receiver. Frederick uh, can only be intercepted. Or incomplete. I mean, or incomplete, but. Well, that's the half. Uh, let's take a look at 
after the kickoff return here, we're going to take a look at the stats, the halftime stats. Got good field position at the 30. Uh, so, let, yeah, let's take a look at the box score. Let's see here. Third down efficiency, we're only one of seven. But they're only two of five. Fourth down efficiency, though, we're two for two. But Stout is only five of 13 passing for 78 yards. And, uh... And an interception. Namath is 15 of 20 for 221 yards. And three touchdowns. Cribs only has eight rushes for nine yards. Lonnie Johnson has two for 13. Stout has two for 12. I mean, when your third leading rusher is your quarterback, you got a problem. Emerson Boozer has seven for 19. Snell has five for 23. There's the receiving stats. I don't generally read those off. You can take a quick look at them, but for us, it's pretty sparse. So those are the uh, stats at halftime. Uh, I'm going to go off tackle with Cribs. I mean, you know, you gotta you got to stick to the game plan. And there is zero yards, but there is a penalty, but it's on us. First and 25. Thank you, everybody. Flat pass to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end. Receiver. Oh, man, we needed that 12-yard. We, I mean, that really was the only thing we really needed. Could have used. All right. Second and 25 from the 15-yard line. I'm going to go short. To the flanker. That's going to be 14 yards. Nice. I mean, that's only half of what we need, but I digress. Third and 11. Yeah, you got to do this again. We're going to go short to Jones, the flanker. Is it going to be a 15? No, it's going to be incomplete. We got a punt. I mean, I don't like doing it. You know me. I like to go for four downs when I can, but really right here, you got a punt. And they're going to get an 11 yard return off a 38 yard punt, which isn't all that great for us. Or no, they're not. No, they just let it drop. All right, good. All right, so... And Parsons today has four punts for a 38.8 yard average. He is not a good punter. I'm going to look for the run. He should be running because he really should want to just eat the clock right now. But he gets five yards. They got a second and five from their own 27. I am going to run and key Snell. And he's going to pass. Hopefully it's incomplete, but it isn't. It's a 15-yard completion to Maynard. We're going to look for the pass. I guess the computer doesn't really factor in the situation too well because really I'd be running the ball right now. Receiver, he gets four yards. So he has a second and six. I mean, we've only really stopped him once, maybe. Maybe we've made him punt twice, maybe. I don't know. All right, so they're going to get five yards out of that. Got a third and five. I'm going to, I'm. you know what, I'm going to put in run. I'm not going to think he's going to pass. And we're wrong, of course. And he's going to get 13 yards out of it and exploit us, of course. I've never seen name. I mean, I've played this 68 Jets game team a couple of times. I've never seen name it this good. I mean, name it today is 18 of 23 passing, 253 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. 
I've not seen. I mean, in real life, I'm sure he was that good, but I've I've never seen him that good in this game. Maybe I just played him against great defenses. I don't know. I did do, in fact, I do have on the channel a replay of Super Bowl three, where I think the Colts actually won and dominated the Jets. And that's what everybody expected. And uh, what are we going to get here? Eight yards, eight yards, and a first down. 8.54 left in the third quarter. I am going to put in a blitz. Let's see what happens there. I mean, I got to I got to pull something out of my hat here. All right, he's at least going to have an incomplete pass. And Miss Maynard right down in front of the end zone. Second and 10, um, I'm now I'm going to look for the run. No, we're wrong. He just refuses to run, but he gets no yards, but there's a penalty. And, of course, it was on us, so it's second and five. And uh, I'm going to put in the balance. I mean, I just don't have any ideas how to stop this offense. Well, we did. We stopped him right there. It's third and three. I am going to look for the pass. I'm done thinking he's going to run. And it's going to be a negative one yard pass. So good. But he's still going to kick a field goal. Fourth and four turners out there. I'm going to I'm going to put in the kick block. Got nothing to lose, I guess. But he makes it and it's going to be 27 to 3. 27 to 3. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we, I mean, I don't even know what to do now. It's, it's 27 to three, six fifty left in the third quarter. You've got Cliff Stout at quarter. It's not like we have Joe Montana at quarterback and I can try to, you know, uh, all right. I mean, we've just got to do a, a short and long passing game here and hope that something good happens. That is not good. I wouldn't classify an interception 12 yards downfield with a 15-yard return as good. So, uh, yeah, it's it's all kinds of problems we're having. This Jets defense has been really great. Um, um, Namath has been great. The entire, I mean, I know that they won the, the Super Bowl this year, but they weren't expected to. And they really, and what was their record? I mean, they were playing in the AFL. And, you know, I don't know, what were they, like 9-3 and three or something? All right. Um, first and goal to go at our six. I mean, what, what are you going to do against this? What are you going to pull out of your butt? They got a negative one. I mean, that's good news, but. Second and goal, I'm going to go run. We're wrong. But it's going to be incomplete. Somehow it's incomplete. Now we're going to go pass. Hold them to a field goal maybe, but then it's 30-3. to three. Yes, and we will hold them to a field goal. But like I said, it's going to be 30-3 to three if he makes it. And he does make it because it's Jim Turner. So, yeah, 30 to 3. 355 left in the third quarter. I don't even know what to do. We can't, and I mean, we're not getting any breaks. None. So we have a first and ten at the um, at our own twenty-five. I mean, this is you. This is what you got to do. We're gonna go short to quit cribs because I mean, you have to do this. You can't just run the ball now. I mean, now you have to abandon the running game. Uh, we're gonna go short to the tight end, Mason. Okay, well, he's getting the 14s, so these, these uh, you know, 14-yard gains in a row. It's good. We're going to go short 
to the split end Smith. Incomplete. Second and 10 at the New York 47. We're going to go short to the flanker Cribs. It's going to be quarterback flush from the pocket as it always is. And it's going to be incomplete. So third and 10 at the 47. You got to go short. Got to go short to Smith. And it's going to be incomplete. We didn't get the 14 that time. I guess we've got to... Um, oh, wait a minute. Going to go short to the split end. He did. He made me go for it on 4th and 10. I wanted to punt, but, I mean, I guess... We really aren't going to go anywhere. Um, all right, let's put in the pass. He's got a first and 10 at his own 47. It's going to be zero yards, and there's a penalty on the play. It's, it was on him, so it's first and 15. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he's going to get the first down. First and 10, I'm going to put in the pass. Again, he shouldn't be doing this. Any logical computer program would say we're going to run the ball. But I know he isn't going to do that. He's going to pass just as if he were in trouble. All right, third and eight. Let's see if we can stop him here. Putting in the pass. There's 14.42 left in the game now. We're in the fourth quarter. It's going to be incomplete or a short gain, and it is going to be incomplete. So they are going to punt. Don't recall having held him to too many punts today. Or no, he's going to kick it. He's going to try to kick it, and he missed it. All right, well, uh, that's great, but it's 30 to 3. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do a normal, everyday kind of offense because we're not going to win this game. So. It's going to be incomplete on a flat pass. We can't even complete a flat pass. Of course, he should be looking for the pass anyway. We're going to go short to the flanker. Now, I can pretty confidently say this wasn't my coaching. It was just our, our team ran into a buzzsaw called the 1968 New York Jets. Um, going to go short to the halfback. And it's going to be incomplete. It's 30 to 3. And we have a second and 10. I am going to go long. Let's try to get a sneak along in there. I mean, you know. Don't really think it's going to work. And it doesn't. It's incomplete. 12.56 left in the game. Third and 10. Got to have everybody out there. Let's go short to the tight end. And it's going to be incomplete, but there was a penalty maybe on the Jets. Yes. So we will accept the penalty. So we got a first and 10 at almost midfield. I'm going to do a look-in pass to the tight end. Let's try to get some points and make this game look a little better than it really was. But it's incomplete. Stout can't even complete a look-in pass. I'm going to go off tackle with Cribs. He was wrong, of course. And he's going to get seven yards out of that. Nice. Got a third and three. I'm going to do a line buck with Stout. Yeah, he got seven yards. Nice. Got the first down. We've got a first and 10 at the New York 37. Going to go flat to the tight end. It's incomplete. This is crazy. 
All right, let's go long. Let's try to slip the long in there. Long to Jones, Mr. Joe Jones. Receiver, and he misses him. Incomplete. And we got a third and ten. Short pass to the flanker Jones. That's going to be 13 yards, but then the flag pops up. Hopefully it's on them. I'm going to decline the penalty. Wait a minute. First, decline it. It's ball on New York 24. Accept that it. it's ball on New York 12. I'm going to accept it. Um, short to the flanker. and Let's see if we can get ourselves 10 big points. Get us to 10 points. No. Incomplete. We have a second and 10 at the 12 of the Jets. Let's go short to Cribs. No, he's going to be sacked. Third and 18. Um, short pass to the split end. Well, 13, that's not enough for the first down, though. I think we're going to have to go for it, though. Short pass to the flanker. You want to make the game look as good as possible. That means a touchdown, not a field goal. And it is going to be 13, and it's going to be a touchdown for us. So it is going to be 30 to 10. Um, we're going to do the uh, extra point. So 30 to 10. Going to do the onside kick. Kicking team recovers. Nice. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, we're still not going to win. We're still down by 20 with 826 left. But let's go short to the flanker. That's going to be incomplete. Let's go short to the split end. That's going to be incomplete, but there's a penalty. And we're going to accept it. So it's second and five at the New York 38 yard line. Let's go short to the flanker. Uh, there's going to be a pass rush and sack him. Well, we didn't need that. Let's go short to the flanker. Got to do the high percentage passes to try to get down the field, at least for in field goal range. And it's going to be a 20-yard game with no fumble. So we did get the first down, and we're back in, I mean, we're down in field goal range now. 6.56 left. Going to go short to the flanker. That's going to be 14 yards and a possible penalty on us. I'm, I'm going to guess, but maybe it's on him. Uh, if we decline it, it's a Birmingham ball on the New York 14. If we accept, it's... You know what? I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to accept it. I'll accept it. So we've got a first and goal at the seven. I was going to, I was thinking of not accepting it because then we could have, we had a little more room to work with. Here we're at the seven. But anyway, he was wrong and it's incomplete. Short to the halfback cribs. Thinks I'm going to run. I don't know why. But it's going to be a 15-yard touchdown. And we are going to kick the extra point. And when we do, 
it will be, hopefully. Yep, kick is good. So it's 30 to 17, and now the game looks a lot better. If you're sitting there saying, oh, what happened here? Nope, receiving team is going to recover it. So there's only 559 left. And uh, we've got to stop him quickly. And he gets zero yards, which is nice. Going to put in the pass again. We were wrong, but he only gets four yards. I'm going to put in the pass. He gets the receiver, but he only gets three yards, so he should punt here. Going to put in the punt return. 30 to 17. We can really make this look like a good game. Going to go short pass to the flanker. It's incomplete. Short pass to the the wide receiver, Frederick. That's going to be 13 yards. Nice. And a first down. Yep, first and 10 at the 28. Going to go short to the flanker again. Uh, uh oh. No, they picked it off. All right. Well, so much for making it look like a good game. It's a first and 10 for them at our 40. Gets zero yards. I'm going to look for the run here. He gets eight. And so he has a third and two. I'm going to, I'm going to go balanced. He only gets one. All right, what is he going to do? He should punt. No, he's going for it. Does the computer realize what this what the game is like here? Oh, no, no, he isn't. He's going to, oh, he's going to try to kick a field goal. I'm going to put the kick block in. That's good. So it's going to be 33-17. It still score-wise looks a lot better than the game really was if you were sitting here watching it. All right. A 19-yard return. Minute 45 left. Let's go long. Long to the split end. Uh, that is not a good thing there. That's incomplete. Let's go short to the split end. That's going to be incomplete. Let's go short. To the flanker. That's going to be pass rush and a sack. Yeah. I mean, here you got to go long, don't you? And it's going to be incomplete. Well, they got a first and 10 at our 20. I'm going to look for the run. He gets two yards. I'm going to look for the run. I got to stop putting the time out there because there's no sense in calling a timeout. He's going to lose a yard. 
22 seconds left. I'm going to put in the pass. It's going to get no yards. Fourth and nine. He's probably going to kick the field goal. Put in the block. Kick is good, but there is a penalty. Going to accept the penalty. Now he's got a longer kick. It's still going to be good. I mean, it is Jim Turner. All right, so. We're going to get a fumble 14 on the kick return to just add um, insult to injury here. Or at least it said we were. That's game over. So let's take a look at the stats. We go to the reports. We go to the box score. Final score. They beat us 36-17, which, again, as I say, score-wise, it looks a lot better than it was. And it doesn't even look good. 16 to 40, 16 of 45 for Stout, 218 yards, two touchdowns, but three interceptions. Namath was 19 of 26 for 252 yards, three touchdowns. And even Babe Perilli, the ex-Patriot, got into the act, and he was 2 of 4 for 18 yards. And I'm just going to let you guys kind of look at the rushing stats and the receiving stats here for a second, and then uh, we're going to close it down because, man, this was a bad game for the Stallion. It was great for the Jets, but it was bad for the Stallions. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Zeke.